to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing them to die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache of a thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, tis a co consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause, there's the respect that makes calamity so of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fair Diel's bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that dread of something after death, the undiscovered country whose bored no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have then fly to the others we know not of. Thus conscious does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sickened over the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and the moment with this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia, nymph in thy arisons, be all my sins remembered.